why we're calling Nate's coach as Nate. Scaring Carl, part two. Go, 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 go! Go, go! <laughs> we are now 10 days away from the Nate Diaz fight. Feeling amazing, but best camp yet. Having so much fun, creating so many memories. Just excited to go out there and put on a show for y'all. And this week's video is really special, really funny. We did our camp tradition, having a talent show, which you guys are about to see. I surprised my barber with a Rolex, and we prank called Nate Diaz and his entire team. Keep it. Welcome to the fourth annual uh, Team Paul Training Camp Talent Show. Heather. Boxers, whatever you are, get the right hands off. I failed boxers in the room tonight. <laughs> uh, I go by the name of Phil Jasper. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> My name is Isan Andreas Pavlo Phil, Mr. Roberto Carlos, and I am a magician. I'm going to go magic trick today. Yeah. Okay, so I need a volunteer. I know what I'm Sorry, what's your name? Karen. Uh, I have a water bottle here. You just want to make sure it's just, just been opened there. Nothing in there. So I have a, I have a two pence piece all the way from Wales. Yeah, you want to? Sorry, what's your name? My name is Jake. Logan. Yeah, can yeah. you just, uh, can you just bend down the shirt? <laughs> yeah, it's real. Yeah, real, real, real kind. So I'm going to place the two pence piece down. So I'm going to place it on top. I'm going to place the pillowcase over the one. Now, when I count to three, say the magic words. That coin is going to end up in the water bottle. Three, two, <laughs> one. Hola, bonita. <laughs> yeah. Right, Karen. Okay. Now I want you to go and check oh. to see if that coin has gone in the water bottle. Oh, sorry, Karen. You go, you go check if that's in the water bottle. Right up close. <laughs> Don't show me your cards, show the camera. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and shuffle the cards back. Oh, ah. he's drunk. <laughs> I'm gonna show you your card. Alrighty. Yeah, that's the only thing, bro. It's not here. This your card, chap? Mm -hmm. Hey! Oh! <laughs> What do you guys think that I'm small? It's not much to him. Whatever. But I can show you guys that I have the ability for superhuman strength. And I can show you guys all right here, right now. Wow. Right? Live. Wow. So for this right. first one, how much do you weigh, guys? 300 pounds. 300 pounds. 300 pounds. Wow. Whoa. Come on, I need some energy here. Yeah! Guys, come on.
Right don't now. Don't drop me, bro. How much do you weigh? 150. <laughs> 150 times three. Are you ready, me, bro? I'm ready. Are you ready? Are you ready? Not ready. No? Come on. Uh -oh. Nah. Nah. <laughs> Damn! I was chosen to do stand-up comedy mm -hmm. by Brandon Amato, and I thought about what to do for my stand-up comedy routine, and nothing came to me at first. But then I realized all the jokes are literally right in front of me. <laughs> Ooh, Jasper, you lost 20 pounds. whoop the fucking do Proportionately, that's like me losing $20. <laughs> Speaking of money, your real last name is Nichols, and between the four people in your family, they have four nickels to rub together. <laughs> nah, but for real, I love all the guys on this team. Especially you, Ryan. <laughs> I heard you have a new boyfriend, and I just want to say we support marriage. <laughs> Why Rydell feels so welcome on the team. <laughs> we know all those years in prison, you definitely didn't come out clean. <laughs> but for real, if I roast you guys, that means I love you, honestly. And that's why I wanted to say that before bringing up. <laughs> third, third, third. How many rounds? 50. 50 rounds? Now I know why they call you third. Because you can't get the word out until the third try. <laughs> but don't worry, Gus. We don't know if it's really yours. Just like we don't know if Carl's girlfriend is really Brandon's or not. Oh! Oh, shit! That's why she couldn't come. But enough roasting. I love you guys. We're gonna knock out Nate Diaz. <laughs> For tonight's challenge, we'll be seeing who can get off their back faster. <laughs> Damn. Ladies and gentlemen, on a count of three. One, two, three. Oh. 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 What you gotta say about all the people that doubted you, third? May 33rd, and I didn't study. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I think the committee is gonna have a meeting really quick to decide a winner for the grand prize. Like, what's the prize? The prize? Yeah, you gotta take prize. Prize? That's what I mean, man. What if we give him like an ass whooping? We could just beat the fuck out of him. Yeah, we could, we should Give him a Celsius. We need a Celsius plug. Yeah, that's a good idea. A year's worth of it. A week's worth of Celsius. Attention, attention! Ladies and gentlemen, uh, an outstanding night full of so many incredible performances. Give yourself a round of applause. It was tough to select a winner, but we have a grand prize of $1,000. Yep. Wow. And a drum roll, please. The winner is... Brunelli Drum! Thank you, 
guys. Uh, I all got much to say. You know? Whoa! That concludes today's talent show. Uh, let's have an amazing week of practice and keep the energy high. Yeah, I love you guys. Hey, bro, did you wear that shirt on purpose today? Are you, you calling me an idiot? Um, if the shoe fits. All right, ladies and gentlemen and idiots. We are about to prank call Nate Diaz's head coach. This is a, also a tradition. We try to call all of my opponent's head coaches and ask them for an interview and pose as an ESPN writer. Chris. Hello? Yo, hey, hello. Is this Chris Avila? This is Mike Coppinger with ESPN, and uh, we just wanted to see if you had a quick five minutes about an article we're doing on this fight coming up. Yeah, your team had sent over information and said to give you a call uh, at any point in time. But uh, yeah, just if now is a bad time, could try you back later. But just looking for a quick five minutes. Yeah, what time? Would, what time would work? All right, thank you, sir. He's definitely hitting up his team, being like, "Did y'all do this?" Yellow. Damn! Alright, you gotta try his name one time. He's not gonna answer after that, man. Do you have his Nate calling? Yeah, it's his Nate randomly calling. Man, Chris, don't answer your phone, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, we were using an app to prank call them that makes your number show up as a contact save in their phone. So they think their friend is calling them. Yo, dog. Yo. Man, they're trying to... Do... No, no, they're trying to do these interviews, man. Night. Man, don't pick up the phone, man. They're trying to prank us. Bro, how about we're calling Nate's coach as Nate? We're gonna say he's locked up or something. Yo, oh, man, I'm I'm in trouble, man. I'm at the police station. <laughs> the police station. Bear dog. I beat some motherfuckers up. Me, man, I need your help. I've been trying to call you off the other number, but they let me grab my phone. I need you to come down to the station, man. Damn. Hey, nah, you started out too strong. Yeah, your, your Nate impression got worse. Fuck, oh, bro. I, I don't know what he's going to say. Hey, we failed. Miserably. That shirt is pretty accurate. But do you want to know the good thing about today? Mm-hmm. Is yeah. that there's tomorrow? Not necessarily. Um. Uh, yes. Did you just? Did you just like audibly gulp? <laughs> I can't do it again. <laughs> the first one was really good. How <laughs> can you do that? I don't know. Go. Go. No, I can't. It was do like it. really good. You put this in your ass for five minutes. Five million. Yeah. <laughs> Five million? Nah. <laughs> Fifteen. That's that's gonna like you're gonna be <laughs> all bleeding up. Like, Fifteen in the jet you want. Yeah, I'm doing that. <laughs>
Okay, so JB flew all the way here from Canada and he's such a genuine and nice kid and he's a young hustler. I love and respect young hustlers and so he doesn't know this, but for the payment, some people give him $500, $5,000, $10,000. I wanted to get him a brand new Oyster Perpetual Rolex as a gift for him coming all the way out here. So hopefully he likes it. <laughs> Okay. All jokes aside, JB, I think you're the best barber in the world. And so I got you this Rolex. We have not something. No, I'm being jokes serious. Jokes. No, no, actually, like jokes aside. No, I'm being serious. I love you, JB. Keep doing amazing. Wait, yo, you guys are being that ass? Or I'm being serious. serious. <laughs> it's a nice little Rolex. Jake, are you being that ass? Like I'm being that ass. Bro, you're doing the skit the whole time. For real. I mean, for real, it's yours, bro. JB, you're a young entrepreneur. I love your hustle, bro. Keep hustling. Yo. JB, you're the future, bro. Yo, I'm being serious. <laughs> I'm being serious. <laughs> I got your Rolex, bro. Bust down. Let's go. Put it on. Don't be shy. <laughs> I don't know what to say, man. Thank you. Dude, are you playing with me? No, I'm being serious. <laughs> Take the Rolex. Yo. <laughs> Just that, yo, here's a Rolex like that? Yeah, bro, a payment. I didn't have cash. <laughs> bro, yo. <laughs> yo, oh my god. What do you think, Joey? Dude, you don't know how much this actually really means to me, bro, because as an entrepreneur and as someone that's coming up with your business, I'm just like, I've met over like a thousand millionaires in my whole lifetime. I've met a bunch of other influencers, creators. Dude, like this is like some real genuine stuff. Like it's not something that I see every day or like every day. But I got you, bro. I got you. Bro. You deserve it. Thanks, You've been hustling. That's some. That's a real payment right there. The other billionaires better step their fucking game up. <laughs> JB wants an Audemar next. <laughs> Speechless. <laughs> yeah, bro. It's really actually means a lot, bro. Like, as, like off camera and some stuff, like bro, like, like this is. I got you. Shit, yeah. yeah, show it off to the people. Whew. It goes a long way, bro. 100%. No, keep hustling, bro. For real. You're 19, and it's just been dope. Like, you're obviously a super nice kid, and I respect anyone who's out there chasing their dreams. So, Thanks, bro. keep going. Let's go. Let's get it. Good ass vibes. Let's get it, bro. Yes, sir.